mad world of the tweaker. The land of the perpetual night party. In the world that the character I play, Danny Parker, finds himself in is, is like the surrealist world of the tweaker. He's, he's lost in a kind of a chaos. A tweaker is someone who is addicted to crystal meth not a casual user, but someone where meth has become a way of life. It's basically their job. It's a world that sort of enjoys itself. You know, it's not, it is a depraved world if you look at it objectively, but when you're in it, it's got a lot of fun things about it, like the word like tweaker. Did you go to crystal meth parties to learn about it? No, you gotta really be a tweaker to get in there. Mm -hmm. But uh, people that, that uh, make this stuff, or addicts that were then be had become informants. I talked to quite a few of those. Any kind of addiction, you kind of get lost, and it's a way to hide and a way to stay away from what might be uh, your goals. And, and that's the one thing that that uh, Val's character Danny gets with the with this group is that there's sort of this brotherhood that sort of forms. I am in dire need of some cash. All right, all right, here we go. Do you think living with that kind of character, this kind of revenge and grief takes a toll on the director or an actor. I mean, the days that we had tough scenes, I felt myself getting depressed, you know, on days that we had some light things and we were with Adam Goldberg and the, and the Cujo's heist scenario, I just found myself in the like, euphoric state. So yeah, it definitely takes its toll on it. I know it took its toll on Val because I know like the day that we wrapped, you know, just, you know, tears just started streaming down his face because I think it was part of relief and part of the finality of finally like, okay, let's close the book on this. I think acting, uh, should cost something. I think stories are valuable when, when they come out of a place. Like the screenwriter, he really uh, came out of a depth of passion, uh, desperate, desperate hope. Uh, and I think it has a spirit to it because of that. Sometimes you see the world so clearly and you know just what to do or what you should have done in the Salton Sea. Hey, babe, take a walk on the wild side.